Yeah, so I, I, I think it's a, a great point, you know, when we're talking about talent and in, in, in individuals watching this um, probably can relate to a uh, certain extent. Um, just the the challenge with if you're if you're in the process of trying to hire somebody right now for a um, a risk management role, I'll speak about risk management. It's it's incredibly difficult to find the right person to fill these roles. There's there's just such a shortage, and it seems like if they're if they're out looking, they you know want um, quite a bit of money. Uh, probably sometimes more than their boss wants or makes. Um, so it, it's just a very challenging yeah. environment right yeah. now. Um, and, and one of the one of the solves we can have is, um, you know, you can you can continue to hire and, and spend money, or you can make efforts to um, have your current workforce more productive. Can they get more done in a day? than they did yesterday. And how do we get them to get more done tomorrow than they get done today? You know, and, and one of the ways we can do that is with citizen development and automation. Um, I think I think it's gonna become a, a cornerstone of a lot of organizations as um, they're experiencing talent shortages and difficulties in hiring, you know, it's, um, it's something that I think a lot of organizations will start to grasp. Now to um, Drew, I think your second point is, you know, how challenging has it been to get sort of uh, others buy in, get the businesses mm -hmm. buy in to do this. And in at US Bank, I think it's been, um, it's embraced by many right away. And it's resisted by few for the duration. There's a few, and, and it, I think it comes down to the individual person you're talking to on whether they buy into this or not. It We can't think about this as a, oh, this organization is really, you know, embracing this technology and idea of citizen development. Um, when I was first rolling these concepts out and training people, there were, there were some people within my team that just they were very uncomfortable doing this and that's fine i mean they have day jobs and, and that's important point too like when you talk about citizen development it's not it's not like a an actual formal full-time role at least within my team mm -hmm. they have their day jobs right and, and that spans the a a number of responsibilities, but what I've kind of positioned this as is I'm equipping you to get your job done faster and better. We still expect you to fulfill the same role, but here's okay. some tools that are going to make you better and make you faster. Um, so that's kind of the view we've taken and, right. and some people just you know, are are not. They want to do, they want to do their job the same way they did it yesterday, and and that's how they want to do it, and that's fine. Um, so I've I've found an interesting dynamic within teams. It it really depends on the persona, on how much they embrace these concepts. 